and one, two, we're live. How are you then? Hi. How are you doing? Very good. You? Yes, not too bad. This good. is uh, this is our second uh, Google Hangout in recent weeks. Uh, really glad to have you on board. You're coming over to Derry next week for two days to deliver oh, yeah. your your first uh, class for Engage. Uh, what's the what's the class called then? It's uh, newborn um, posing in the business. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Great, excellent. I mean, uh, you've been uh, you've been doing uh, photo newborn photography now for uh, quite a while as a kind of special speciality. Yeah. Um, yeah how did you get in? How did you get into it in the first place? Into into photography in general, or, or into newborn? Into, into newborn. Um, well, it's it's kind of I fell into it as, as I suppose pretty much everybody does. Um, I started off as a wedding photographer. Um, then after my first child was born, I started taking some pictures of her, and then mm -hmm. that's how the portrait side took off. Um, and of course, the, fo the follow-on from the portrait side was people were coming in with their newborns. So yeah, I kind of just slid into it. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's a real kind of niche area at the minute. It's something that maybe a lot of photographers are maybe a wee bit kind of trepidatious about going into because it is such a, a delicate kind of process. Um, so how, what, what are, for beginners uh, who are looking to get into newborn photography, what do you think they'll get out of your class to make them a bit more confident about thinking about getting into newborn themselves? Um, well, the class will show the whole process of newborn photography, so from from start to finish. So not just the the posing and, and posing of babies safely, which is you know paramount in newborn photography, um, but lighting or the equipment I use, the client process, um, just all the, the whole general business, and it's gonna it's gonna be live, so anything can happen. No, yeah, it's a two day course. So on the first day, we've got uh, a newborn in the morning. We're gonna do certain things, and then later on, we're gonna have another newborn. And then yeah. on the second day, we've got a newborn and their sibling. So there's gonna be so many different aspects of newborn yeah. photography that people are gonna learn. Yeah. Yeah, well, the newborn, the first newborn of the day, we're going to do the posing on the beanbag. So I'm going to show um, the flow posing, how I how I work, as well as um, setting up the beanbag, lighting the newborn, um, getting the most out of each pose. So you don't have to disturb the baby too much, and you can you can get four or five photos out of one pose. Um, then the second half of the day, we're going to do a sibling, uh, sorry, a um, prop photos. So babies with a few props. And then the next day, baby, we've got, as we said, little baby with sibling. And I believe the sibling's one and a half years old. So anything can happen. Sibling, yeah. Siblings are so much fun to do and they're so beautiful. But when you've got a baby and a toddler um, together in the mix, yeah, pretty much anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> it, the, the photos are really sweet, but yeah. Try and bribe the older one, try and settle the younger one. That's it, yeah. I'm sure it'll all go very smoothly. Uh, whenever you, you uh, came to do your first shoot then, I mean, people are going to be able to download your class and they're going to, you know, figure out how to do it themselves. But whenever it came for you to do your first shoot, I mean, really, was it just like stepping, stepping, you know, off into the water and just seeing what happened? Or did you have any kind of tutorials beforehand? Then? For my first ever newborn shoot? Yeah. Yeah, my first ever newborn shoot were actually wedding clients of mine. They were they were get, due to get married, and they had a little girl before, um, so they wanted some family photos done. So they brought this tiny little newborn along, and I've been googling pictures and having a look at what I could do because it's my first ever newborn. Um, I think I, I remember watching Sandy Pop on Creative Live, um, watching one of her classes and really studying it. So that gave me a few a few ideas. Um, so yeah, mainly did, um, posing with the parents, lots of lots of parent photos. Um, looking back at them now, they they're absolutely dreadful compared to what uh, what I can produce now. But the parents absolutely love the photos, and they still treasure them to this day. So, but yeah, lear learning a lot online helped helped initially to to give me some confidence in what I was doing. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's it's really helpful to be able to watch videos, stream videos online as well, to see how things, I see how to cope with things when they go wrong as well as going right, I suppose. Yeah, 
Well, that's it. Newborn, newborn photography, we've got, you've got to work with the baby. We want the baby nice and sleepy. As any parent will tell you, they don't come with, with an on-off switch. It would make my life so much easier if they did. It would make a lot of parents' lives so much easier if they did. But unfortunately, they don't. Um, so, yeah, we, we have to try our best to get them to sleep. Sometimes they do. Um, a few times they won't. And sometimes, you know, no matter what you do, they just won't go to sleep. So you have to work with it. So again, the course is going to be completely live. It's not pre-recorded, so anything could happen. I could get pooed on, weed on, sicked on, which is you know, which is a given in most newborn sessions. It's uh, you kind of praise the Lord when you, when you don't get one that uh, does anything on you. You're like, yeah, I've escaped. Um, so yeah, it's completely live. So it's going to be fun. Excellent. We can't wait. Uh, so obviously, we're going to uh, learn about little techniques about getting baby to sleep. Um, mm -hmm. We're also going to learn about posing. Um, and something that's really interesting maybe to a lot of people, a lot of our users would be the fact that you use Photoshop for a bit when it comes to kind yeah. of the images together. So somebody, somebody goes onto your website, which is Wings Photography. Yes. Um, UK, um, they can see a lot of the images that you produced and they all look immaculate, so beautiful. And you know, like some, some of the wee newborns in these incredible, poses with wearing we hats and all the rest of it, like kind of going like this here, which I always wondered how, how on earth they do that. But yeah. that involves Photoshop as well, isn't that right? Involves Photoshop, yeah. A, a newborn baby can't hold their own head up. They can't support their own body weight. So to get the, the froggy pose, which is that one with the feet forward, obviously I'm not going to put my feet forward. I couldn't do it for one. Um, but to get that to get that pose, what we have to do is not, you have to, for a start, that the baby needs to be completely fast asleep. You can't do it with a wide awake baby. You can't do it with a semi awake baby that's that's thrashing around. They've got to be completely relaxed. Um, and then what we do is we get the parents to hold the baby's head, top of the head. We take a photograph. Then they hold underneath the wrists to keep the wrists together, um, so we can get the bottom half clear. And then move move down, hold the top and the bottom, so you get the wrists completely together like this. So it's that one's three photos into one. Um, so yeah, that's that's all taken different stages where the parent is fully supporting the baby, and then all merged together in Photoshop to produce the beautiful photo. And will you be uh, going through Photoshop maybe on on the computer? Yeah, what I'm hoping to do is the head on arms shot, which again is a composite, so it's the baby sort of sitting up with its head up like that on its arms, mm -hmm. um, which is an, a far easier one for babies to do than the froggy pose. Um, but again, that's two photos into one, so again, parents holding top of the head and then parents holding underneath the chin. The two separate photos then merge together in Photoshop. Um, so yeah, we uh, we're going to attempt that pose, and I can show them how to how to put it together. So it gives you the basics. Obviously, I can't say that we'll do the froggy pose because not all babies will do it. So we have to see what babies like on the day. In fact, that's one I've taken off my studio wall because parents see it and they really really want it. It doesn't always happen, so it's come off the studio wall now. So it's it's probably the most difficult shot to get, is it? Yeah, it's one of the most difficult ones. It's beautiful when it when it's done, um, but yeah, it's one that parents really, really love, and uh, it's not always possible, unfortunately. Yeah, and then the, the second day we're going to have, as you were saying, we're going to have a, a sibling shoot, so it's mm -hmm. going to be a one and a half year old girl with her uh, newborn sister, um, yeah. as far as I know. And uh, so, how will how will that dif different be different to the first day? What kind of poses will you be working on then? Um, well, with a with a sibling, depending on ages, there's different poses you can do. With a with a child that younger, one and a half, um, you know, you can't. You've got to have the parents around to support baby as well, um, because not only is it it's more difficult for them to hold the baby for for long periods of time, you've got to be so quick taking that photo, and and the parent then they're ready to get the the photo but also they don't understand that you know the little baby's so delicate if they just suddenly decide they've had enough it's like open their arms baby falls so yeah you've got to be you've got to be really careful I'm sure there's there's plenty of videos on YouTube of uh, siblings holding their newborn baby and they've just kind of gone I've had enough now and pushed baby off so 
yeah, that it's it's quite challenging. Um, I had a little five-year-old in the studio with his um, newborn sister, and I got them in a beautiful pose where the little boy's um, sitting with his on his bum with his knees up and holding his little sister with her bottom right against her his chest. Um, well, more in his, more in his lap, and he just looked at me and went, "She's weed." And she'd weed all over him. And he was so calm and so patient. He just sat there until we'd finished. And then we cleaned him up. But to do that with a younger sibling, you know, they might have just gone, boom, and thrown the baby away. So, yeah, you do have to be careful. And, of course, um, the, the, that age of child, um, the one-and-a-half-year-old, they don't always want to do what you want them to do when you want them to do it. So we might spend a bit of time negotiating, trying to get them to uh, to come to terms. They might not want anything to do with their uh, new baby. Some yeah. children just don't like the fact that they've got a new sibling in the house and uh, won't want anything to do with it. So that can be challenging. Yeah. Um, to get around that, we can we can do baby in a prop and then photograph the sibling with the prop without the baby and then maybe put the child's toy in there and do the two together in Photoshop. So there is ways around it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, shots on your uh, website, they seem so precise, so uh, well judged and, and set up. But, you know, other times that you, you do have to improvise mm -hmm. and, uh, and take shots that are completely unique in the newborn kind of uh, landscape. Yeah, yeah, you do. You, you have to, especially with siblings as well, you have to play it by ear. Um, one one little girl I had absolutely hated her baby brother, wouldn't go anywhere near him. So um, she got this Barney toy and this pink dinosaur thing. So we end, ended up photographing her with this pink dinosaur in a bucket and um, then taking the dinosaur and her completely away and putting her baby brother in the, in the bucket and photographing him. And it's quite nice because the images we ended up with was her looking lovingly at her baby brother, where in fact, in reality, she was looking lovingly at Barney the dinosaur. So, yeah, I mean, people see all these beautiful photos on the internet and go, oh, that's so sweet, but my children won't behave like that. And you're like, believe me, neither did they. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you absolutely have to tune in to, to Lynn's class if you want to learn how to do these things. Look, I keep saying it on Facebook that it's really not as easy as it looks, and you just kind of, <laughs> you're just going to prove that. Um, something else that you're going to go through then on the day is probably the most important part of the whole thing is uh, safety. Uh, yeah. So we did a, a Q and A with you on the website recently. It's on engagelive.co at the minute, and that was something that you really flagged up as something that is really essential when it comes to training other photographers. I mean, what? What kind of things will people be learning whenever they tune into your Engage class? Um, about safety, um, how to pose babies safely. Um, there's been incidents recently that I've heard of with babies rolling off bean bags, falling out of props. There was one where the photographer attempted to do the froggy pose completely unsupported. So they'd left the baby in the froggy pose and told the parents just to let go of baby. And of course, baby face planted straight onto the bean bag. Wow. So. Yeah, so luckily the baby wasn't wasn't injured, but it left the parents very shaken. So, you know, we're going to go through all the safety aspects, what you can and what you can't do and how to pose. And knowing when, you know, if you're trying to get a pose and the baby's really, really objecting, you know, to stop and move on. Not every baby will do every pose and there's no point, you know, putting them through any, any pain. Most babies will have a bit of a whinge when you're trying to pose them. They'll be fast asleep and they'll have a bit of a whinge and basically most of the time they're saying, oi lady, get off me. I'm comfy, leave me alone, you keep moving me. Which, to be quite honest, if somebody was trying to move me all the time while I was asleep, I'd probably want to punch them in the face. <laughs> no, that's it. Me too. I love my sleep. Uh, but uh, then, you know, with, with the kind of uh, techniques that you learn about safety, obviously you build a level of trust with your clients then, and the more experienced you are, presumably the more clients you'll get. Are you also going to touch then on how to deal with clients and how to build that uh, relationship with new clients? Yeah, so the whole, I'm going to share the whole process, my process from start to finish. So the information that I send to clients on inquiry, um, all the information I send out before they come for their session. So when they've already, when they've booked and confirmed, babies arrive, they get a, a really good information sheet that tells them what to expect from the session. 
um, what's going to happen, how to prepare for it, which is important because that can, you know, make the difference between a happy shoot and a happy baby and a really unsettled baby. So I'm going to share all that um, with them as well as, you know, trying to identify your ideal client. Everybody has one. Most people just think it's something along the lines of anybody who, you know, anybody who values photography. Um, but it, it's not that simple. So I'm going to go through all that as well. Great. That's brilliant. We can't wait till next week then. Uh, at the minute, people can uh, pre-order the full two-day class uh, on the Engage uh, website. That's engagelive.co forward slash classes. Uh, so they can pre-order the full uh the full class then for £79, which is a 20, 20 pound discount. Um, and then we'll be streaming live for free uh, from July 2nd to 3rd next week. Um, and thereafter, then the, the class will be available to download for £99. We can't wait to have you over, Lenny. Looking forward to uh, delivering the class. I am. I'm really looking forward to it. I've already started sorting out some bits and pieces to bring with me. So some nice little headbands because we've got some cute girlies in and Yes, I'm really excited. Great. Nice one. Well, I hope everybody tunes in next week and uh, we'll see you all then. Thanks a lot, Lynn. Thanks. Bye. Cheers. Bye bye.